Hi, I'm Jeff, a product specialist here at Red Court Software, and I'd like to show you how easy it is to install Virtual Time Clock Network Edition on a Windows computer. Remember, the Network Edition has all of the advanced features as our Pro Edition, with the added convenience of being able to access the time clock from multiple computers. The first thing we're going to do is launch a web browser and head to www.redcourt.com. Once on the home page, you'll want to go to Download, Virtual Time Clock Network. Here you'll be presented with three choices. The first one is the Virtual Time Clock Server. This is the brain of the network time clock, and we're going to install this on one computer on the network. The next option is the Pro Client. This time clock can be used both as a clock in and out station and also has administrative access. The final option is the User Client, which can be used only as a time clock. We're going to start with the server. If prompted to run or save the file, you can go ahead and click Run, which will start the setup wizard, and we're going to walk through this accepting the defaults. The Virtual Time Clock Server Manager will open and prompt you to add the background service. Next, you'll be prompted to create your new company and add a Time Clock Administrator. Although a password hint is not required, it's highly recommended. It's likely you have a firewall running on this computer, so we'll need to add a couple of inbound rules to allow the time clock clients to connect to the time clock server. Before we close the time clock server manager, we just want to verify that all of the server functions are online with green check marks. The server manager program doesn't have to be open for clients to connect, but the computer does have to be turned on. Let's head to your Windows control panel. Go to System and Security, Windows Firewall, Advanced Settings, Inbound Rules. We're going to add a new rule, which will launch the Inbound Rule Wizard. It's going to be a port, TCP, and the specific local port is going to be 56777. We want to allow the connection. We'll leave the default setting for when the rule applies, and we can give the rule a name. We're going to add one more new rule. This one is also a port. It's UDP, and the specific local port is 56778. Now we can close the control panel. Now we're ready to install the Virtual Time Clock Client. We're going to head back to www.redcourt.com. We're going to go to Download, Virtual Time Clock Network. And this time we're going to add the Pro Client because we'll need administrative access from this computer. Once again, when the Setup Wizard launches, we're going to accept the defaults. The Pro Client will open to the welcome window and will click Connect to Server. You'll see the name of the Time Clock Server computer listed above and you'll need to enter your new Time Clock Administrative Password. Next you'll be prompted to add your new users. You can add them manually or you can import users from QuickBooks or a CSV file. We're going to add a user manually. All you need to add is the first and the last name for the users to start using the time clock. All the other information can be added later. Now we're going to go over some common configuration options for your time clock. The first one we want to look at is overtime. 
The time clock will come with three default rules, daily and weekly, daily only, and weekly only. In my state, employees get paid weekly overtime after 40 hours. So I'm gonna choose weekly only and add my employees. Next, we're gonna look at activities. If you need to track time spent on different tasks, jobs, or projects when clocking in, then you'll wanna set up activities. I don't need that for my business, so I'm just gonna keep the default activity called in. Now we wanna set what rules are in use for our time clock. We're gonna click on display groups. There will already be a default display group called time clock users. Here's where you can change the interface. You can use the in-out board list, an alphanumeric passcode, a numeric pin, or even set up an individual time clock on each computer workstation. This is also where you can set what features your employees have access to. You can assign managers and set what time clock features managers have access to. Now we're going to set when our employees get paid. We're going to go to payroll settings and set our payroll frequency. It can be weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly, monthly, or even user defined. My employees get paid on a weekly basis, so I'm going to leave that alone. Next, we want to set how total hours are calculated and displayed on time cards. So I'm going to go to time settings. I can set when my work week begins and what rounding rule I want applied. Finally, you should set up a scheduled backup of your time clock data. This is done by launching the server manager program and clicking backup on the toolbar. By closing the configuration window, we'll be back at virtual time clock administration. This is where you can edit and delete time card entries. You can add a manual entry, for example, if someone forgets to clock in. You can add a leave entry for a holiday, vacation, or sick day. You can view reports. You can export the time clock data to a text file that can be opened up in Excel. You can process time cards for payroll. You can open your mailbox or you can return to your time clock configuration. You may not want to leave the configuration window open if other time clock users will be using this time clock. So let's switch the time clock to user mode. You can return to the administration window at any time from the file menu. Now Grace is ready to use the time clock. She'll select her name, create her new password, and pick an action like starting her day. Grace is now clocked in and the time clock has been updated with her new status. Congratulations, Virtual Time Clock Network Edition is now set up and ready to use. If you'd like more information about Virtual Time Clock, please visit us at www.redcourt.com.